Unprecedented, I know. I'm, I've got the VOD out. Cheers. Tiger King. Alright. I'm, I'm loving it. But what I'm not loving, I'll tell you this what much, is I am not loving what I've been reading about on the internet this evening. Is uh, the government and people are saying, people are saying they're going to be introducing this quarantining. I don't think so, mate. No thanks. I ain't being locked up in my own home. It's a f Lovely home, but I ain't been locked up here. So, um, today's a bit of a weird entry because it was my last day at school. Ever. <laughs> like, ever. I think it was more surreal than anything else, um, but it was still like a shock when we walked in for the last time, I think. And having to say goodbye to people that I've literally known, what, for the last six, seven, eight years, um, just like that, and teachers that I've known for so many years, I just had to say goodbye to like that. But it was still nice, they let us take off our blazers as a rare treat. We had a special lunch, just our year group, we were allowed beer, and, and they put photos of us on the wall <laughs> from year seven. And then at two o'clock, we just, we just left. And I know it sounds like a really trivial thing to moan about, about right now, but it's kind of the thought that we're never going to get prom or um, a leavers assembly or that beer garden meetup that's a tradition at our school. Just like that, it's over. I'm still just kind of taking it in. Hey guys, it's Mario here. Um, I've just... Mm, I'm just eating some... I love... Mm, mm. Sorry. So basically, like, I finished my, um, my shift down at the, um, the abattoir and I heard these people speaking about this gas or something in the air that's making people's eyes and lungs itch. And then I heard somebody else speaking about it. So anyway, I got home, I googled like itchy eyes and gas and stuff on Google. And yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I'm not sure if, if it's one of those things that like seems like a big thing, but it's going to blow over really quickly. Hopefully it's one of them things. But if it's not, um, yeah, I don't really want to go outside anymore if there's... Um, a gas out there that makes my eyeballs itchy because <laughs> nobody wants itchy eyes. That's not very nice. This is my mea culpa. Please watch it through to the end. I love you more now than ever. You and the boys, you are my world. When I was a kid, it's all about the force. I wanted to be a copper from the day, well, day dot. And that day at Hendon, my passing out was the proudest day of my life. And look on your face that day. But ever since then, I've been trying so hard. <sighs> right. Truth is, I was only in the Met for about 18 months. I didn't have the nerve for it. The bottle. I've been working with a print company for the last nine years. Proud print. Not a lot to be proud of now, is there? Well, I told you I was on the streets fighting the bad guys and protecting... I was carrying away in a small room like a bloody rat. All I can ask, it's, it's a massive ask, I understand, is that you forgive me. It's a good time to get on top of all the little jobs that, like decorate the bathroom that had a peeling ceiling and... He's up there now. It's got drill. I can hear the drill going. I don't know if you can hear it. I can catch up with things. I, you know, I might even go down the bottom of the garden and clear out that room that I showed you. Anyway, have a lovely evening, people. Stay safe. And I will speak to you very soon. Bye for now. Fox. Hey, guys. Johnny Warren here of the Hyena Carpets. A lot of people have been asking for a Q&A in these really quite dark times. First of all, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Who's your favourite band slash artist? I think I'm going to have to say... Green Day. You hear what they're singing about? You know, f*** the government and all that shit. It's brilliant. Because f*** the government, right? Question two. This is from James. How many instruments can you play? Piano, guitar, flute, cello, violin. You can sing. 
play the recorder, play the tambourine, pretty damn well. Doing the kazoo for a few weeks, I think that's about it. This is from Emma. <laughs> How are you so talented? Oh, Emma, stop it. Next, this is from Brad. Why do you wear eyeliner? Hello there, it's uh, Ray from uh, Dog Rescue here again. Uh, today, I thought I would film playing a bit different outside. I did say that at some point I would film her doing, I'm going to have to say the word, I know that once she can add this, but bubbles. Hey, do you understand this science homework we've been sent over? I don't understand any of it. We haven't been taught it, I swear. Anyways, I don't understand why we have to do all this work when we're probably not even going to go back into school at this rate. The f screens are making my eyes sting, you know. All right, see you in a bit, man. Number five, this is from Jolene. Hi, Jolene. What's your favorite song? Wow, Jolene, what's my favorite song? I think I'm going to have to go with one I wrote a couple years back called Hell on a barbecue. The anticipation of losing one's virginity is pretty darn high. But then it actually happens. You think it's gonna be great. But then it's happened. And it, you know, you're not the Greek god that you thought you were gonna be afterwards. Number six is from Molly. How long have the hyena carpets been together? I've been through a lot because of how long we've been together for. I think it's, uh, it's about four and a half months now. It's hard, you know, please, you don't have to message me asking if I'm okay. Why are the band called the Hyena Carpets, and who thought of the name? Well, <laughs> the name was constructed by yours truly. Don't f with a hyena. And don't f with the Hyena Carpets. That's the end, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please go and check out the Hyena Carpets' new single, Beds and Cables. You're gonna love it. So yeah, I just thought I would update you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you've heard about this itchy eyeball gas or whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, okay. Hope you all stay safe and if you do go outside, make sure you wear, I don't know, goggles. <laughs> I'm not sure if that'll be too stylish. Oh wait, actually, if I've got to go to work in the abattoir, I've got to be outside. Wait, I need to get some goggles. If you guys know anywhere that sells cheap goggles, let me know in the comments below. Mario signing out. My home is my castle, not my prison cell. I've got the key. I can get out whenever I want. You can't lock me up in my own home. <laughs> you just try it. I won't do that. Quarantining. You can't quarantine a whole country against their will. They won't do it. Don't you do it. If they try and lock you up in your own living room or your own bathroom or whatever... You seriously gonna let them do that? I don't think so, mate. <laughs> Quarantine, absolute bloody disgrace. Absolute disgrace. Stick with Tony, stick with the truth. Peace out, and whatever. DL.